Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make this beautiful circular scarf. It's very easy to make and I'm going to show you now how to put it on and the list of material you're going to need to make it. Put the scarf on, you're going to grab the part with a strand of yarn and put it to the back. You're going to do a figure eight in the front and pass it on through your head. And like that you have your beautiful scarf on. My niece May, is, she's my model today and she is from Cuba. Hi May! This is the yarn I'm going to use for the scarf. They are from Lupin Thread, impeccable, 128 grams, 100% acrylic, medio 4, and the color of this one is Kelly Green, and this one is grass. It's like a lime green. And the crochet hook is 5.5 millimeters. You're going to need scissors and tapestry needle. And these are the same color that I use for my hat. Today I'm recording from my home country, so you're going to hear some background noise and probably uh, the sound is not going to be that perfect because it's a big space here and I have a fan just right beside me. It's uh, nice and hot here. So this scarf is for the set with a hat and it's uh, the stitch multiple 7 and I'm going to do a circular scarf, but if you want an open scarf you have to do a multiple of 7 plus 4. I'm going to start uh, with a slip knot and I'm going to do a chain long enough to go around my neck twice so I'm going to pretend this is my neck and so you're going to do the chain long enough to do it twice like this okay so I'm going to do mine off camera and I will let you know how many chain I will do for mine and remember, if you're doing an open scarf, you have to do multiple of 7 plus 4. For mine, I did 161, but remember, if you are doing an open scarf, you have to do 165. And I'm going to do a row of single crochet, so you will do a row of single crochet. And first, for a circular scarf, you have to make sure that your chain is not twisted. So, you will do like this. Remember this has a flat part and more round in the back. You have to make sure that the flat part is up, like that, all the way to the end. You don't want a twisted scarf, so you're going to go like this all the way to the end. At the end, you're going to do a slip, slip stitch in the first one. And you're going to chain one, and you're going to do a single crochet in the same space. And one in each chain space. Like that, you're going to continue all the way around and do 161 single crochet. Here I'm going to finish with a slip stitch, and I have my 161 single crochet. If you're working an open scarf, you will do... Uh, a chain of three plus two more double crochet and then the stitch that I'm going to show you and at the end you're going to finish with three double crochet for mine the chain of three will count as the first double crochet and at the end I will finish with one double crochet so I'm going to chain three one two and three yarn over and when you're working with the open scarf you don't need to have the yarn over so pull through one two, three, four, and five loops, and you pass it through the, all those loops, you have two loops on your hook, and you do a single crochet. Now you have to do four more for a total of five. That's one, and this one is two, three, four, and five and if you done already the hat you will find very easy to do this because it's the same stitch now you're going to do two double crochet this stitch is two row will create the stitch this one and a row of single crochet on the top now i'm going to pass it through my one two three, 
four and five loops you pass it through five having two on your hook and now you're gonna do one single crochet one two three four and five and then two double crochet and if you do in your open scarf it's exactly the same again one two three four and five pattern through those five do a single crochet counts as one two three four and five now you do your two double crochet and you want to continue so on until you have worked all the stitches and you finish with one double crochet but remember if you're doing this open you'll finish with three double crochet to finish this row I'm gonna do my last double crochet and I go I'm going to count one two and in the third chain I'm gonna do a slip stitch and like that I finish that part of the design of the motif so to finish this one I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna come here and grab my yarn through the all that stitch in there and I do a single crochet that's the single crochet that is on top of the chain so now I have to do five single crochet for the top of the motif so this is one two three four and number five will be through the whole stitch like that and like that I have again my five uh, single crochet in the top for my five loops for the next design okay. so now here in between these two double crochet you're gonna do a single crochet and that stitch there and now the second one is here grabbing the whole stitch that's number two that's the two stitches for uh, the two double crochet in between so now you have to do five more one, two, three, four, and five again is grabbing the whole thing like that. Like this, you're gonna continue all the way around and you finish the motif, and the next row will be with the next color. Now I'm gonna do my last single crochet. I'm gonna do a slip stitch. And like that, I finish the first motif. Now I'm going to change color. And to do that, with the next one, I'm going to do a slip knot. I don't want to cut my yarn. I'm going to continue working since it's one motif of each color. I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the hat, leaving the yarn attached in the inside. That part, you don't want to see it when you put the scarf on. So I'm going to pass through my yarn I'm gonna pull this one and like that it's secure and you don't wanna see the exchange of color now with this one I'm gonna chain three yarn over and I'm gonna do my five loops one two three four and five yarn over pass it through the six loop because the one that you did is there and you're gonna count one two three four and five single crochet yarn over and you're gonna do two double crochet 
one and two and again you're going to pull through five loops one two three four and five yarn over and you're going to pass it through all those five loops now one two three four and five like that yarn over and two double crochet like that you're going to continue working all the way around until you finish this row the next row is going to be a row of single crochet and I will show you how to do that one more time and how to change color from the lighter green to the darker green and like that you're going to be working until you have the desired width of the scarf and remember you don't have to do the scarf with two colors you can do it just with one or multiple colors here I'm going to finish this row with a double crochet and now I'm going to count one two and the third chain I'm going to do a slip stitch and like that I finish that part of the design now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to grab that stitch the whole thing like that and do a single crochet now I have to do five more for the top of the, this first motif one two three four and five like that we're going to do exactly what we did in the row before of single crochet all the way around the scarf so that will be one more here and the other one is in the whole stitch like that I'm going to do this off camera and then I will show you how to change color one more time and from there you can work all the way until you have the desired width for your, for your scarf now I'm going to change color I'm going to grab the other strand of yarn, the darker green and I'm going to pass it through here I'm going to pull that strand of yarn, the lighter green and I'm going to chain three one two and three now I'm gonna pull my five loops yarn over one two three four and five now I'm gonna pass it through all those loops and count one two three four and five single crochet yarn over and two double crochet like that you're going to continue all the way around and then you will do a row of single crochet and then change color again you have the option of doing this just with changing the color, cutting the yarn and changing the color each time for me I will leave it like this because this part you don't want to see is change of color like that this is what you're going to see in the inside when I put my scarf on this part here at the seam I will put it to the front when I twist my scarf in a figure eight and I pass it through again through my head that part will be in the back of my neck so you don't want to see that part in there so continue working uh, with this design and the exchange of color or with the color you're working with until you have the desired width when I finish mine I will let you know how we're going to finish and the measurements of the width and the length well here is uh, how it uh, looks so far uh, I love uh, the design the combination of the colors and I'm going to continue working probably for until I have nine rows to see the width so I will let you know this is what I done so far and I did five, five row of the darker green and four row of the lighter green and in total there are nine row I already did my row of single crochet all the way around now I'm gonna do another row of single crochet 
and after that I will cut the yarn and loose the tail and I will let you know the measurement of the scarf so I'm going to chain one and do again another row of single crochet all the way around to finish I'm going to do a slip stitch I'm going to chain one I'm going to cut the yarn, pull that tail and with the tapestry needle I will sew that tail this one here and these two and I will measure the scarf and I will let you know the measurements this is the end result and the scarf measure eight and a half inches and the width are uh, 22 centimeters the circumference is 133 centimeters or 53 inches this is the amount of yarn that I have left from the two balls of 128 grams each. Now I'm going to put the scarf on my model and I will show you the end result. Well, this is the end result. I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you do the scarf and you want to send me some pictures, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stedman. Here from Cuba to you, I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.